my name is Lasse Helenius and uh, I'm working currently as a lead software developer at Napa. And today I will give you a short presentation about Napa as a company, the software solutions we are offering and how do we utilize Hoops technologies in our products. Uh, first, the name Napa is an acronym from, from words Naval Architectural Package. And we offer solutions for uh, uh, ship operations and, and ship design. The company is more than 30 years old. We are a very global company with 190 employees in 10 different country offices. And we are very proud to say that 95% of uh, ships built annually all around the world are built by Napa customers. The software solutions we provide can be roughly divided into three main categories. In design, we offer an integrated 3D design platform for initial and basic design of a ship. And the target customers are mainly shipyards, engineering companies, class societies, and other authorities. In safety solutions, we offer decision support tools like loading computers, emergency computers, which are installed on board the ship for, for safe operations of ships. And in shipping, we offer tools for monitoring and optimizing the performance of the ships, uh, such as voyage planning based on the weather and sea conditions. And today I will tell more about design related products as, as uh, there we are benefiting from Hoops technologies at the moment. The software development for ship design uh, started already over 40 years ago at the shipyard when Napa as a company didn't even exist. And during the years, Napa core functionality has evolved to cover uh, 3D half form design and hydrodynamics, uh, hydrostatics and stability analysis under different loading and damage conditions, and also 3D structure design tools uh, for initial and basic design stages, including 2D drawing generation, weight calculation, other kinds of numerical output, finite element meshing, and, and also direct interfaces to uh, class rule software and, and detailed design systems. Uh, originally, the uh, application was a command based where almost everything was developed in house as at that time, there were not, not many external toolkits available that we could have used. So we have had our own 3D geometry, which we still have. Uh, we used to have our own 3D graphics database, even macro language and so on. Then around eight years ago, we started a big UI technology renewal uh, to make the application more modern and easy to use while still relying on the same existing core functionalities. And the application is named Napa Designer and the first official release was in 2015. And as you can see from the video uh, in Napa Designer 3D graphics plays a central role and all kinds of interactions, they must be fast, accurate, reliable and modern. Also with very, very large ship models, including hundreds of thousands of structural details. And currently, Hoops Visualize fulfills these requirements for, for our graphics. And we have built two-way integration between our own geometry kernel and Hoops Visualize. So uh, in the video, you can see while I'm creating uh, uh, some uh, opening to the transverse bulkhead. And, and while I'm doing the modeling, it will automatically go into Napa geometry kernel and, and stored into our database. And whenever something changes in our geometry database or geometry model, then those changes are immediately reflected to uh, Hoops visualize graphics as well. So there is this kind of uh, two-way integration built in between the geometry kernel and, and, and the visualize. 
graphics. Then a few years later, when Napa Designer was published, we started to get more and more requests to be able to share the design information more easily between different stakeholders and design departments, which are using different softwares. For example, outfitting designers, they, they need to know uh, the boundary conditions from structure design, uh, whereas the structure designer must uh, take into account the piping routes and space reservation for different outfitting components. And uh, at that time, we decided to take into use Hoops Exchange and, and Hoops Publish uh, to solve this kind of information sharing problem with the, between different systems. And a uh, nice thing with the Hoops technologies is that Hoops Visualize and Hoops Exchange, they have built-in integration, which makes it relatively easy to import uh, CAD components from different uh, formats and visualize them on top of uh, Hoops Visualize graphics. And then uh, we have developed our own integration or conversion from Napa geometry model into Hoops exchange model so that we are able to export our geometry into, into different CAD formats or, or publish them in 3D PDF or HTML formats by using Hoops Publish. Then recently the demands to share the design information has increased even more. Uh, and, and with more than one year ago, we started to develop a web-based application for review, reviewing and sharing the NAPA model uh, without uh, any needs for installation on end user's device. And based on good experiences with Hoop Visualize uh, on our desktop application, uh, based on existing integration with Hoops Exchange, we have developed, and based on some uh, real evaluation process, we decided to use Hoops Communicator for 3D graphics. Uh, uh, and, and handling the streaming, the geometry and rendering and, and, and the interactions on the graphics. And currently uh, the NAPA 3D model geometry is uh, converted into Hoops Dreamcast format, which is a Hoops communicator format. It is converted by, by using Exchange, our Exchange integration and then convert it to the Streamcast data by using Hoops Communicator Converter. And then there are also uh, some other tools for uh, like calculating sections from the model or getting model attributes and so on. And, and this kind of information, those are fetched directly from our core functionality by utilizing NAPA for calculating the sections and so on. And then uh, those, uh, temporary geometry are drawn on top of the uh, graphics by by using Hoops Web Viewer API. Hello, Lasa. Yes. Okay. And uh, last functionality in this Web Viewer, which is very important for information sharing purposes, is the commenting functionality. So the users can communicate together by, by adding some comments to the model and, and the comments are then visible for all uh, users using the web-based 3D application. And this application is relatively new and it, the first official release is planned to happen in the end of this year. This was all I wanted to present about, about NAPA hoops usage and NAPA products all in all.